seems like it's been a long time since we've done a show. It has been about a month. And I, I think, well, so we, were, we, we got, were just we on catching up vacation a week ago. Right. And I kind of took a, a railing in my, took a my eye. Yeah. Um, so it, it's recovering, but hopefully... Tripping up the steps. Tripping up the your steps. Your flops caught a step, and down you went and hit your head on the railing. So I'm proud to say I got a real shiner yeah. over the last week, and you've never had... I never had a shiner those. before. So, yeah, and Aunt Matthew was even impressed. He was. He goes, "Oh boy, <laughs> that looks good, Mom." Yeah. So, so it'll get better. Anyway, so we're going to get, get beyond on vacation yes. and and getting yeah. hit in the eye and yeah. everything. Let's get back so to making. So we are going to celebrate Brett and Brianna, who are videographers, are getting married in less than a month. Yeah. Okay. Good. Good. So we decided, well, actually, I think Brianna, you know, kind of came up with the idea of we were talking and wondering what we could do that would be kind of special, you know, yeah. kind of in advance of the wedding. Right. So we're going to do something old, something new, something, something borrowed, something, something blue. blue. So okay. the something old, which I think is really cool. So I talked to Brianna yeah. about doing something old, getting a recipe from her grandma or somebody. Right. So she actually came up with this really awesome, you know, little setup that we have here. But I think it's, it's, it's just really cool because we have the, um, the recipes. One was from her grandma. This was her, her grandma wrote this. This right. is her grandma's handwriting. Her great grandma mm -hmm. actually wrote this right, recipe. recipe. Okay. Okay. So okay. grandma wrote the pie crust. Great grandma wrote the apple pie recipe. Right. And they actually had an apple pear Mm -hmm. which was great great grandmas. I know, isn't that cool? So I think that is so amazing. And Bri Brianna told us I wanna, how... I want to play with oh, this. Oh, you got to play with this. I got to play with this a little bit here. So it's the uh, hooks on. It's a little bit different. I remember yeah, like my, hook, my mother had... You hook that had, on the bottom of the, on, on yeah. the, on the table. Screw so you'd hook that on there and right. then attach your apple, which gotta, is similar. I'm to turn towards the camera here so they can see this thing operate. Whoops, now i got my hand in the right place here. So it'd be similar this, to you know the yeah. new one that we have. This is, this is the apparently the peeling blade or pairing, and of course the apple will go on there. And then see how it starts. It so that's really cool. Down, and then it opens back up to take the apple off. So Brianna has a picture, and on the back it says that her grandma. It's her grandma, grandma with and great, her great great grandmother. Right. In the summer of 1944. 1944. Okay. Mistaken. So anyway, so we've got that, and what's really cool also is this box, the original box. This that thing only costs two dollars and fifty cents. Yeah, but which when you think about very amazing. But when you think about the cost, of what two dollars and fifty cents is worth. I don't know what they got paid in 1944, but I'm thinking maybe two to f somewhere two to five dollars a day. So that's like a day, half a day's sure. or a day's wages for that peeler. So that was expensive. And then this was great grandma's pan mm -hmm. that Brianna's mom actually uses today. They just right. don't make them like they used they to. They sure don't. So I think it's really that cool. It's neat. So we are going to make an apple pie, and I actually use we're going to use great great grandma's recipe. That's great great. Yes. Okay. Okay. This is an old recipe. So I actually and it's made be fun to make. the pie crust yesterday. Okay. Okay. And the pie crust is a little bit different because when I make my pie crust, I just use flour, um, lard, always mm -hmm. lard, always a little lard. bit of salt, and water. Mm -hmm. So this pie crust actually has flour, okay. like more lard, okay. um, some salt, an egg, or vinegar, egg. and vinegar, and some water. That is different. And it. It rolled out really nicely. Okay. In fact, I, I made the pie crust and I rolled it out yesterday and just put it between two okay. sheets, you know, of paper. And it did I think it did a pretty nice job. Looks okay. So now I've got the crust to, made. And you want me to get out the so apple I'm gonna peeling? So I'm going to let you. Yeah. So I'm going to just put this over here for you. All right. Okay. So okay. while you start doing the apples, then I will cut. The, the apples. And then, the difference okay. between this tool and great grandmother's tool. Great, great. Great, great grandmother's tool is that one did not core it. Right. That's just knowledge. the pear. That's just the pear okay. or the peeler. This one does both. <clears throat> As we've done on other shows, gonna when you're going to grab the apples and take care you of. You can use that for the garbage bowl. Pouring bowl. that out.
So I am just going to, I guess, go through the pie crust a little bit more. Three cups of flour and okay. one and a, and a quarter cups of lard okay. and maybe a quarter to a half teaspoon of, of salt. Okay. Mix all right. that all together. Mm -hmm. And then um, you mix in, then in a separate container, separate dish, one egg, one teaspoon of vinegar, vinegar. and five tablespoons of water. And then okay. you just mix that together, and it's, and it's very liquidy. Mm -hmm. So then you just put that then in the flour lard mixture. Okay. And it's very soft, and it's just really easy to work with. So it's very pliable. Very pliable. A little okay. bit different than sometimes. So that yeah. might be a better crust than what your it, other it, recipe. Yeah, easier, we're gonna, easier we'll to have roll to out. see how it tastes, okay? We're but we'll have the that. experts taste it. We're going to get into that a little okay. later after and we And one thing it. I did discover, though, too, is that I had enough pie crust that it actually made more like four crusts. Oh wow. So there is actually enough for more than just the two Does that pie mean crust. back in the day in 1944 the pies were bigger? I don't know maybe. I don't know. Okay so what was really interesting with the recipe depending on what kind of apples you had mm -hmm. is how much sugar you put in. Okay. So um, Brianna's great great grandmother liked to use Just Macintosh, Macintosh and they're apples, a sweeter little bit sweeter, so you'd use the Granny Smith. less sugar. So mm -hmm. we have the Granny Smith, so okay. we're going to put in a little bit more. So we have one cup of sugar, okay. and then it calls for one teaspoon of cinnamon, and I always like to add like a little, little bit little of more. extra. So you can have either cinnamon or nutmeg. Okay. And then, again, the depending on how juicy your apples might be, mm -hmm. you can put in some flour. Okay. So it could be a tablespoon or two tablespoons. Helps solidify it a little bit. Right. But again, okay. according to the recipe, okay. it's, you know, whatever, whatever you think. Okay. Yeah. So just pour it in and mix. Okay. And then you can use your spoon. You can use a bigger spoon. Thank you. So while you're doing that, I need mm -hmm. to get my... Pie crust. So we're going to use a nine inch pie pan. And I'm envisioning that grandma or great grandma either had some kind of a glass pie pan or some kind of tin aluminum. Right. I would think. Right. So I'm just going to turn this yeah, I over. Think that's mixed enough. Don't you that. Think? Mixed yep, enough? that's good. Okay. Okay, so we're just going to. Just kind of put our pie like this, our crust. And when I made the, the uh, first one the other day, I had the, the pie crust, if you remember, hanging over the pie. Oh, right. Way over. Way and over. I actually had a larger uh, yeah. pan that I was using, too. Um, so it didn't make the, the pie quite as tall as, I mean, you know, yeah. high right. is what I like, okay? So now you're going to pour this in, and I like it just kind of to give the apples some air, you know, kind of room to breathe, you know, a little bit. Okay. And um, so you're saying pile, pile them on top, but they don't have to be just real, you know, they don't tight. Have to, they don't have to stack them, you're saying. Right. I mean, you don't want them, you don't want them level or flattened out. Right. You want to give just them kind a of little, take them apart a little bit. Fluff them um, a little bit. Another thing I thought was interesting, seeing Brianna's great, great grandmother's apple pear when I think of all of the apples that my mother would have, you know, yeah. used and peeled, oh, and, yeah. and she did all of hers, you know, by hand. So I, I think of, you know, the apples we had in our apple orchard, how handy that would have been to have had a, to have a, a tool like a that, tool like you know. A pear or a peeler. Okay, so we're going to There, that's that. really stacked up nicely. I like that, yep. That's how you like it. You don't want to have the apples over the, on the edge, correct? Right. You need to have that. Kind of weld together. Okay, and then we're going to just fold this in half. There, I think we're good here. And then we're going to give this, oh, then what I'm going to have you do after I make some air vents, so I'm just going to okay. cut some air vents so when it's baking that lets the steam out. So I guess watching my mother, she would do she like would do that. three across and then two and then an, another. Okay, and then um, the recipe also called for one or two teaspoons of butter dotted and just like so you can just yeah just like little dots okay and then you just put that all around your pie i'm not dotting very well am i this should no. be more broken up let me cut yeah. this in slices and this then we is can break fine it. just just like this is your cutting yeah and then we just do some little dots just like so oh 
hell is that? Okay, that looks terrific. And then we are just going to fit the other one. You want to get them all. Put the top all layer around. on, or as one of our friends calls it, the cover. The cover. Put the cover over it. Okay. Here is the top. So then what I then, depending on whether you want to use a fork, do you want to grab a fork for me, can please? Get you one of those. Um, you could also take a little bit of water on your uh, going around the bottom of your crust before you put the, the top crust on because then that kind of seals it oh, okay. you know, together. So you, you could do that. But you don't necessarily you, have to. But you don't necessarily have to. But you just want to make sure you get you those. You want a nice seal. Mm -hmm. So I'm just going to go all the way around. And sometimes with a lot of my pies, I will actually curl this under mm -hmm. and then do, you know, the, the zigzaggy zig kind of, yeah. you know, thing. So you can finish off your pies in that way or with a in fork. different ways or with the fork. Now, once so you I'm fork just it, so we're just gonna going fork to fork this and then we just trim cut off. off. You just trim. Do you need yep. a knife to trim? We can, yeah, either right give here. me a new one or I can just use that you knife too. Cut the butter with. In fact, I was thinking the other day what I should really use is my little, you know, a lazy Susan. So as I'm oh yeah doing this stick this part, you can stick it. it on there and. We have talked about that first this pie is, that we made, and and an we were, we were pie thinking making this pie right now. We were thinking that. about giving you know maybe like a little piece of advice you know for Brianna and, oh, yeah. and Brett mm -hmm. as they get married. Yeah. So I guess one thing is especially when you're you're way newly married, you never really want to criticize your your spouse when they make something you know like pie or if something doesn't really taste good. Are you, you just, you are just you making <laughs> a reference to something I did one time like 40 years ago? Or, or what? Yeah, you just let them you know, keep... My memory isn't that good. You just let them keep, you know, doing the same thing instead of criticizing them. So, do you remember that, that casserole I used to make? Oh, yeah, that could be hamburger, corn, and... What yeah, it was like a that? hamburger, corn, mashed potato mashed casserole. Mashed potato casserole, yes. So you made it, it was layers? Yeah. And I don't even remember now how, how it went. But, but you made it as like a layer of... Hamburger, maybe yeah. mashed potatoes, and then the corn, and then maybe I don't know cheese on top or something. Mm -hmm. Well, you didn't tell me until I had made that for I think a couple of years how you really didn't like it. It wasn't really a favorite. It wasn't really a favorite, and and I made it you know like really often. So I mean sometimes so it's it's sometimes it's good. best to be honest and exactly. say you know I really don't care for this instead of eating this for two years. Or yeah. maybe or maybe say. <laughs> You do a really nice job on this, but, but. you know <laughs> I like your but. lasagna I like better. The other thirty-seven things better. you make better than this one. So All right. anyway, so what so. advice would you give that that you might want to share? Well, I would just say that the best thing to do is always uh, tell your spouse how wonderful all the food they make is, and you just have to like. Suck it up. Suck it up and bear, <laughs> bear, <laughs> take the good with the bad. <laughs> but I'd still be eating hamburger, corn, and mashed potato casserole if I did that. I'm not you sure I want to do that. You might just be doing yeah. that, yeah. No. Anyway. So, okay. So are you so going to put that pie then in, in this strip pan so it doesn't so boil I, over? So I have made pies before. So just in case they boil over, you might want to put some foil underneath. Right. Or I happen to have this extra large pie pan, and I don't ever really make a pie, you know, that, that large. large. And then I have, this is actually, uh, I don't know who Misses made somebody. this. This is somebody. So you can either put this little plate thing around, the, you know, the top of your crust. So that will help it from separating. Mm -hmm. If you don't have these, because I also have different sized pans, so this doesn't fit on all mm -hmm. of my pans. Okay. So then you can put some foil around the top just to kind of right. keep, keep, you know, from, those two from, from separating. Or okay. separating. Okay. okay, so we have our, our oven preheated to 400. Okay. And we are going to bake this for about 40 minutes, I believe. Let me see. 
All these things are about, aren't they? Um, oh, actually, you just have, you no, just have to this watch. is another interesting thing. There's yeah. no oven temperature or time on there. So I had to, to figure my own out because I actually made these. So 50 minutes, so 400 We're going degrees. For 50. And this, I thought, was another interesting thing because these recipes, <clears throat> I thought were so sweet because they reminded me so much of my mother who was actually born. Um, she'd be yep. over 100 years old if she were alive. And... And that's so typical of, I think, like the, yeah. that older generation. Right. That and they didn't use it. You've mentioned this in other shows. Your mom never used a measuring cup. She used no. a, a broken coffee cup, right? It was a broken the, handle. The handle broke off right. the coffee, coffee cup. That, and was, that her was her measuring, measuring cup. cup. She, so she knew do two and a half or two and a third or one and three right. quarters of this cup. So you just kind of had the feel and you yeah. knew, you know, what the right amount was. Yeah. So that is what we are completing for our something. This is something old. old. And we just happened to have that magical something old pie made. Okay. So since Brianna is the great, great granddaughter of this recipe, I think it's only appropriate that she has to come out from behind has to have a that slice. camera and have a slice. Because then and she has to tell me just how great just this how is, good even it is. if it's that's, not, right? That's right. It's, she has to. You have to say it no matter what. You guys get to eat first. Take the first bite. Let's see how this is. That's very mm. good. I really like the crust. I do I too. Love the crust. That's it, high praise. That is that is <laughs> great. It. Does it taste like your grandma's yeah. crust? Is it? Yeah. Good. It should. I think this is going to be my new crust recipe that I'm going to use. Mm -hmm. All right. Thank um, you guys. I, I hope you've enjoyed this episode of Cooking with Ruth. So until next time, oh, and Gary, sorry. Yeah, thanks. Cooking with Ruth <laughs> and Gary. So until next time, happy cooking. Okay, because I don't want to ruin it, because I am kind of, I make a fashion statement in these shows, and I don't want to ruin it by covering up the microphone. <laughs> Not everybody knows how to wear black like I do. Maybe Johnny Cash. Okay, we are going to have a special sh uh, series of shows. That's kind of hard to say. Special series of shows. Special series of shows. How about, how about of shows? we cut and start all well, over oh, again? I think this is good. <laughs>